Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Dying Scene Record Radar, presented as always by Punk Rock Radar. I'm your host, Dylan. We got a lot of cool releases to talk about this week, so let's go ahead and do that. So up first, Rancid, self-titled debut 7-inch from 1992, three years before the birth of myself, um, is back in print for the first time ever uh, being reissued on two new color variants each of which are limited to 1000 copies uh the first is royal blue which is the u.s variant and then the second is piss yellow very nice uh which is the uk variant. again both limited to a thousand copies each links to buy those records along with all the other records i'm going to talk about are in the description on dyingscene.com the written record written up next, uh, something I talked about on the last video, Sloppy Seconds, Destroyed. Um, this is getting reissued by Puke and Vomit Records. They have an orange color variant and black vinyl. But since that video went up, there's been an additional color variant announced by Hey Suburbia Records or Radiation Records, uh, I believe, in Italy. Spain, one of the two, I can't remember. Green Vinyl, limited to 500 copies. Um, very cool. Uh, if you want to grab that and add it to the orange and the black, if you're a Sloppy Seconds completionist, link in the description. Uh, speaking of Sloppy Seconds, another release. They're just milking uh, their collector nerd fan base. Uh, Play With Your Records. This is a new Rarities B-Sides unreleased songs compilation album that's coming out uh in i think they're shipping it in july uh vinyl only only release no digital version of this as far as i'm aware uh and it has six never before released songs on it so that's cool too uh 600 copies of that one and it's on pink or blue swirl colored vinyl they don't have an option to like choose, uh, and it seems like it's one or the other. Uh, so I guess it's just the luck of the draw. Whichever one shows up is what you get. Uh, okay, another one from Radiation slash Hey Suburbia Records, Cletus. Very good 90s pop punk band. I don't hear a lot of people talk about. I wasn't aware of them actually until last year when their third album got reissued by Hey Pizza Records. And now the two albums that preceded that one uh are being reissued as well for the first time in over 20 25 years uh the the first record came out in 96 second was 97 so yeah both 25 plus years old uh very cool both are limited to 500 copies if you like old school lookout record style pop punk definitely pick those up from hey suburbia record all right new release from the friendly people at Felony Records, along with Free Swilly Records. This is a new album from Hawaiian hardcore punk band 13th Legion. It's called Face First. It's out now. There's three variants available to buy on the band's band camp. And there's also a pretty sweet looking uh, blue variant. It's not available to buy. It says it's a tour variant, um, but I don't see any upcoming shows for the band, so I don't know how you can acquire that uh, maybe send them a message on instagram or facebook or something and see if they want to sell you it uh because that one looked the fucking cool in my opinion uh nice surprise here diesel boy um after going 20 plus years between albums uh they are releasing new music less than a year after the new record came out um diesel boy gets old uh, this is a new 7-inch with two new songs. They're both really, really good. Uh, the A-side is Tapes. The B-side is Punk Rock Minivan. Very, very good songs. Cool-looking color variants. Cool-looking cover art. Diesel Boy. Highly recommended pickup there. Uh, Gutter Mouth. Here's another one. Like the Sloppy Seconds record that I talked about a few weeks ago on the Record Radar. And it's back again. Uh, two more variants of Eat Your Face exclusive to double helix records um 
Uh, the, one of them is called Storm, and the other is called Salmon. And they're both limited to 250 copies each. You can only get it from Double Helix Records, which is good because they're in the U.S., um, so very nice there. Australia, we're going to Australia. P Records, their uh, latest compilation album, label sampler compilation, P Approved. Volume 6, songs from Making Friends, of course, Chaser, um, The Decline, uh, a bunch of other great bands. This is being physically released a few months after it came out digitally. They got vinyl, limited to 200 copies, black vinyl, and they have compact discs, and you can get a bundle with both of them, which is very cool. Uh, Asian Man Records, new release, or reissue, actually, from a band I'd never heard of. An indie band from San Jose, California called Korea Girl. Very short-lived band, apparently. Uh, they were only a band for three years, and this was the only record they released. Not really the kind of thing I listen to, but if you like uh, indie, kind of like, uh, I don't know, you know the stuff with like mousy vocals and stuff. Um, this is a good record. Uh, I listened to some songs off of it. It's limited to 500 copies. On random mixed colored vinyl, this the Asian Man Classic. So it's not purple like this, I don't think. It'll probably be a bunch of random colors. All right, uh, Monster Zero Records coming in with the heat on this video, just like Memorable but Not Honorable did uh, on the last one. These records are badass. The Florida Man, uh, new album Dive Bar. This is this band is not from Florida. They're from the Netherlands. Uh, their first record came out in 2022. I loved it. Uh, you can listen to it right here. Uh, one of my favorite records that year. Um, great album. Awesome band. You like Ramones Core, uh, 90s pop punk. Highly recommend to check these guys out. This is their new album. It's called Dive Bar. Uh, and the first one was so short that they fit it on the B side of this album. So you buy this and you get both albums on it. So very cool there. Also from Monster Zero, they, they got three releases on this video. Sweatpants Party, a band I had not listened to before for whatever reason. Uh, this is Kevin from The Apers, um, a dude from Seven Years Bad Luck, Dagger Holly, a bunch of other Monster Zero bands involved in this project. Uh, this is a new album called We Little Songs, just like Florida Men. This is... Uh, second album from this band and they too released their debut album in 2022 which again is right here uh and i was listening to this and it's completely sold me on this record i went ahead and pre-ordered that along with this one and the florida men and i got a couple other records for Mr. zero well by the way their shipping to the u.s is insanely cheap uh ten dollars i got five records it was ten dollars to ship uh to florida so fuck yeah monster they're probably losing money on that shipping if i'm being honest. uh last from monster zero and the last on the the video this week neon bone excellent ramones core band been around a long time they got a new record out or coming out uh it's called eager to please it's due out on the 28th and uh there, there was blue vinyl limited to 50 copies it's sold out you can still get it on black vinyl though which i did i, I missed out on the blue i'm sleeping on that uh, first single called Sometimes is streaming now. Uh, great band. If you like Ramones Core, you can't go wrong with Neon Bone. Uh, highly recommended you hit up Monster Zero uh, and grab these records along with countless other awesome records they've put out in the past. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this week's Record Radar. Thank you as always for watching. And like I said, if you want to buy any of the records, check the link in the description. Uh, we got hyperlinks. On the column to where you can buy all these records listen to songs from the new releases and all that fun stuff but yeah that'll do it thank you guys and i'll see you next time